For my entire life, I've always wanted to be a full-time creator for myself. I think before I just didn't believe I could actually do that. In 2022, on January 7th, I believe. And for the first time in my life, I've been presented, gifted really, an opportunity to chase that for a little bit and see what that looks like. So this year, I'll be giving it a shot. I'll be posting a video on YouTube every week for the entirety of this year. First thought is, okay, well, how do you make money? Well, I've been full-time freelance for the last four years. I quit my full-time job in February of 2018, and since then, I've been making videos for a ton of incredible people. I am wildly thankful to all of the brands and clients that have supported me over the years. So for this year, and really for like a couple months, I'm gonna be attempting full-time content creation. I have no idea how I'm going to blend client work with making my own content, but I'm excited to give it a shot. For the last three months, I've been meeting a bunch of incredibly talented creators who have been egging me on, giving me advice, encouragement, and I'm really excited for you to follow along this year. Your second question might be, all right, so why tech, why filmmaking? Well, filmmaking is my career, so I've learned a decent amount about that, and the knowledge I have, I am excited to share, but tech has been a passion of mine for like my entire life. When I was in high school, I started a company called Apple Easy because I made Apple, you get the idea. It started as like a tech support thing where I would go to people in my neighborhood and and like give them help, but it turned into like a small business. And for three to four years when I was home, I would go over, fix people's computers, do random Wi-Fi nonsense, and generally bring people up to speed. iCloud was brutal. Please, please remember your iCloud password. Remember your iCloud password. <laughs> that was the number one thing that I had to fix is everybody and their mother forgot that password. It turns out you can't really solve that. If you've forgotten the password, your device locks. I'll tell you a quick short story. I was helping out a car wash once in my hometown and and someone had came in because the iPads didn't have an account on them, an iCloud account. People had kids, I guess, had typed in their like username and password and logged into the iPads. Now they weren't probably being malicious, but when I tried to go and fix them, I was like, okay, let's start by restoring it. Didn't know yet. And when I restored it, it was hardware locked. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh, you can't just take it to Apple. No, <laughs> Apple doesn't care. They make it very clear that the iCloud password is the key. So they literally had two to three iPads that were just useless because because someone had accidentally put in their iCloud information. Probably one of my biggest mistakes starting out, but I've loved technology and gadgets like since I was a kid. And so when cameras came along, that was like the furthering of that to like the infinity. Oh, you love technology? Well, here's this thing that now is on the forefront of technology and is incredibly fun. And I got the video bug. One more quick short story. When I was very, very young, my parents had gotten a VCR, which is not cheap back in the day. They really were like excited about it. And my dad had taught me how to use a screwdriver. This was his grave mistake. I ended up taking apart the VCR. My parents arrived into the living room and it was like in peace. Pieces. I was not allowed to use a screwdriver after that incident. <laughs> Essentially, I've always loved taking things apart, seeing how they work, and that extended all the way to tech and filmmaking. I started out on the GH3, and then the 4, and then the 5, and I'm now on Team Sony with the A7S III, which I'm very excited to talk more about. And these videos will be about filmmaking or tech, and maybe some vlogs thrown into. I'm gonna be entirely honest, I have no idea what I'm doing with this. This is me finding my voice through YouTube. I said something to a friend last year, and this is genuinely how I feel. I have been making videos for probably eight to nine years now and nothing has made me more fulfilled and happy than posting videos to YouTube. I can't explain that, but I do know that I'm supposed to do this. As I said, this year I've been posting a video every single week. So if you want to tune in, I would love to see you. The only thing I can promise this year is that every week on Mondays, something will exist and I'll probably be in the video. I can promise those things guaranteed. Anyways, thanks so much guys. I'm TK and I'm really excited to share more of my story. As a gift for watching the whole video, I'm gonna leave you with some videos from my childhood. I was between ages of three and eight in these videos. It'll give you some insight into why I am the way I am. All right, roll the clip. Hey, hey we're just hanging out. Hi, King. Yo, yo, look. I guess I'm Taylor of Shepherd today. Really exciting day. Bye.